step on the field, I'm easy, batter than stars. Smash the hit stick and leave your helmet scattered in shards. Print the pattern of my cleats on the jersey and your shoulder guards. So tell me who you know going harder than Addy Cards. Hey, what is up, guys? Addy Cards back, <laughs> bringing you guys episode 27 of my Madden 25 Ultimate Team Budget Team Series. Um, if you haven't caught the prior episode, well, what happened to what happened to previous? Oh yeah, the budget team. <laughs> Little uh, discussion about the budget team. Make sure to check it out. I have my opinion. Some people have their opinion, and uh, might not agree on it. But if you what exactly is a budget team? If you want to check that out, go ahead and check it out. Check out the uh, previous episode, prior episode, whatever. Pre prior to this one, the previous one. Um, go ahead and check it out. And uh, that's that. But yeah, in this one, I think we are in like week five, I want to say. And TP still undefeated ever since we got our upgrades. We haven't lost the game yet. And we are definitely trying to continue our streak. And boy, oh boy, man. This was a pain to play in. The lag was so real. I'm just going to warn you. It, it's <laughs> it's going to be lagging. The video, it's not your computer or anything. This, the video is lagging. And it's going to be laggy. And uh, if you can't sit through and watch it, I'm just giving you a heads up, man. Don't watch it. Don't waste your time because it's going to be lagging. If you do want to watch it, man, I salute you. I appreciate it. <laughs> you know, sit through and watch the gameplay. And if you don't, if you can't watch. Some people can't bear lag. Um, videos is going to be laggy. Put it like that. Nothing else to it. Just giving you guys a quick heads up. <laughs> yeah, moving on. I come out. I get the ball on offense. And, man, it looks like I slow-mo this shit. <laughs> Devin Hester with the 98 speed. Looking like he's got two speed out there. He is moving super slow. And right there, Trenton Holiday with the 98 speed. He looks like he's got a good three speed out there. And it does not take 70 seconds for TP to deliver a pass to Devin Hester. But with the lag, it does. Four plays later, I catch myself in the end zone. And I do go up 7-0. to zero, And I'm thinking, man, this lag has got to go away. It's got to go away shortly. Let's just keep playing. And we should be all right. So I got to kick him the ball. I'm not going to onside kick him. <laughs> That'll be a straight bitch move, especially in the lag. Hit him with the onside kick. Yo, surprise. <laughs> That'll be, that be bad. But, yeah, I got to kick him the ball. See what he's got on offense. And it looks like he's got, who's that, Patrick Peterson. It looks like he's got Pat Pete returning kicks. And I don't know why he did the back juke. There was nobody within, like, five yards of him. I don't know. You know, to each their own, maybe did it for the hell of it, and uh, man, wide open. One thing with the lag, though, it really helps out the offense tremendously. Um, it just gives you so much more time to progress through your reads. Like if you can't, you know, if you can't go through your reads within like one, one, one and a half second, um, you you got like a good four or five seconds with the lag. You can, you can look from one receiver to another to another to another, and then fire. But with no lag, you better start looking quick. <laughs> you better know where your check down is and whatnot. And um, still, still lagging. Man, this is super slow-mo. And, jeez, third and 11. Right when I wish I could have got a damn stop. <laughs> man, I would have got the ball. Well, I wouldn't have got the ball, man. Let's be, let's be honest. There's no way in hell this man was going to punt to me. <laughs> I would not have got the ball back. But put him in a fourth and fourth and five fourth and six i have a good chance of stopping and right here he's rolling out he's looking is anybody open oh man he had a touchdown but he completely does not see him and he screws up and second and six oh the lag is gone we finally got a game <laughs> no nah, man um it was right here i think the lag stops and we finally get a good game going fourth and uh, uh, it's it's I mean my user's not there or anything. It's just I mean might as well just throw. It's not like I got a player in front of him or anything. <laughs> uh, dude, Sam Shields was right there in front of that pass. 
I don't know. That dude just chucked it. Maybe he thought he could get it over him. Sam Shields, I think he's got like 95 or 97 speed. And right here, he pauses the game right after I score. And I'm like, yes, <laughs> he quit. So we do get the W. And uh, it, it was a quick game. I couldn't leave you guys out to dry. So I added another week of gameplay. Some of y'all might enjoy this. Bring back the good old days where I you know, put two gameplays together if they were really short. So, um, yeah, this is gameplay number two, and hopefully there won't be any lag in this one. <laughs> and uh, let's see what we got in store. Uh, playing, of course, Hinesfield, Pittsburgh. Um, don't know what – I was thinking about getting that um, that London field or whatever, Wembley, and um, it's just uh, – yeah, I'm not going to waste coins getting – those eight collectibles, I don't know how much they go for now. They probably still go for a lot. You know, why waste coins on the damn stadium when I when I can upgrade players? Um, I definitely got to upgrade the defense, but when I upgrade the defense, I'm going to go big. I'm going to upgrade something. You know, upgrade real well. Put it like that. We're going to go from, um, I don't know what I want to do just yet. Um, if I switch defenses and go from 155 to uh, 43, I'll definitely have to get some good DNs. And right here, this man, what is this dude doing? Um, I don't know. Cam New just running backwards for his. Man, I honestly don't know what this dude is doing right here. He does chuck it up. It looks like it's lagging again, just a tad bit. And uh, Bobby Wagner comes up with the pick. I mean, first play, this dude starts running back 70 yards, running around, just not giving a single fuck, <laughs> just run around. I don't know why he did that. I have no clue. Um, who the hell knows, but I, I got the ball back. That's the only thing that matters, right? <laughs> I get the ball back, and I'm looking. He's rushing three, trying to find somebody to come open. I do playmaker. Um, who was that, Mike Wallace or Trenton Holiday? Probably Trenton Holiday upfield. He just, I just use him as an extra blocker right there instead of a receiver. And TP gets a few yards. TP two for three, 17 yards. And right here, I try to hurdle him just in case he went with a big hit. You know, <laughs> trying to avoid the hits. Hurdle, you know, get in the end zone. I do go up 7-0, take the first points of the game. And now we got to play some defense. And boom, no, nah, <laughs> I don't light him up. That was a weak hit. But we brought him down. DRC, definitely a threat on the kickoff returns. He's got like 98 speed. And he's definitely don't want to let him. Oh, my goodness. Dante Hightower, what are you even doing on the field? I don't know, but I'll definitely take the pick, though. Pick six. <laughs> Do go up. 14-0, two-score game. And it's not looking like this dude's even. I don't know if. Is a comeback possible? Maybe. Is a comeback possible the way this dude is playing right now? Ain't no way in hell it is. <laughs> Shit. Oh, man, what a good pass by him right there. I do try to strip it out. Right there, why did I go with the strip? It seems the strip is really it is more effective than the big hits. You know, maybe somebody who played a lot of games, maybe they know. But I mean, the way I see it. I think the strip is more effective than the big hits this year. Maybe somebody's played 20,000 games and tried both the big hits and the strips and probably knows better than I do. But the way I see it is, the, oh, my goodness, what a play. Holy crap. That was definitely sweet TP making something happen. But, yeah, um, I started stripping the ball out a lot. Um, usually, sometimes they'll break one and then the ball might come out. They won't break 17 tackles like it was in Madden 13. Uh, Madden 12, the strip was definitely hella overpowered. <laughs> in Madden 13, they definitely toned it down. In Madden 25, the strip is definitely there. They, I think they made it right. You know, I haven't abused the strip. I've only used it maybe five, ten games so far. And um, you know, the strip is definitely nice. So some of y'all might want to incorporate that into your game. Avoid the big hits and try the strip. Um, see if it works out any any better, and that's that's what I do, you know, right there. He does bomb me over the top, man. Walk and touchdown, and wow, somebody tried to showboat, <laughs> try to put out one hand and catch it, and start celebrating. Ain't no way in hell it's happening. And oh man, what a bait, Malcolm Smith CPU helping me out. I will take it. 21 to 0. The game is pretty much well in hand, though. It's not looking like a comeback is possible at this point anymore. <laughs> you know, this you can forget, especially I got the ball back on offense. And right there, whoop, where are you going? And then I try it once again. <laughs> and the second time I was just plain retarded. I shouldn't have done it again. But 
when you're in the middle of a field, you don't know what the hell you're doing. I just, I don't know, try to pull off some highlight shit. And <laughs> the first one was good. The second one, not so much. Probably should not have done that. But, you know, being up 28-0 to zero at this point, it's you know highly unlikely this dude is... I'm just waiting, you know, to be honest, I'm just waiting for this dude to quit out. When I went up 21-0, I thought the dude was going to quit out. Still, he's in the game, so props to this man playing it out. Maybe he will make it to the end of the game so both of us can get the coins. But then again, he probably won't. And um, I'm just waiting. Again, he turns the ball over butt naked. Harry Douglas sitting by himself right there. Do hit him for an easy, um, what was that, like 15-yard pass? Probably something around there. And I do go up 35-0. to zero And, oh, man. I'm thinking, this dude's got to quit. 35-0. to zero. There's no way he's even thinking he can come back at this point. Wow, EA BS at its finest. 35-0. Just give him that one-handed spec. You know, it's nothing. No problem. Just give him some damn belief. <laughs> you know, let him think he can come back. And, um... Starts running turbo and back, chucks it up, and D. Milner, what a beautiful swat. There's no way I was picking that. I wasn't even going to risk the INT. I just swatted it. And again, he chucks it up, overthrown, fourth and 17. Who guessed? There's no way he's punting. Chucks it up again, and oh my goodness. Really? Fourth and 17, that happens. Figures, right? EA Sports at his finest. That definitely was a touchdown. I thought it was a touchdown. They should have gave it to him, I guess. I don't know. Now give him the damn TD, man. He's down 35-0. to zero. At least give him something. Oh, and give him that. <laughs> give him the damn pick. And uh, I'm just running around trying to find open hole. And come on, D. Milner can't get anything. And, oh, man, is this dude going to quit out anytime soon? He's got to be 35 to 0. There's no way. And sure enough, this dude does end up quitting out right after halftime. He attempts to onside and fails. So, yeah, this was it for episode 27. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the thumbs up for me. Comment. Let me know what you thought. Subscribe. And until next time, I am signing out, guys. All right, y'all. Salute.